Hello, today we're gonna do a review lesson on the distance formula and midpoint from last year. So as we go through it, think about what you remember from last year and what we need to refresh our memory on. So we're gonna find the distance between two points and we're gonna find the midpoint of a segment. That's today's lesson. So is distance always positive? The answer is yes, 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 yes. The distance between two points is the absolute value of the difference between their coordinates. If you're talking a straight line, like a horizontal or vertical, this is what you're going to do. You're gonna find the distance. You're just gonna count up or however you choose to do it. Always gonna be positive. When we get into the distance formula, and I would recommend that you pause the video and write this down into your notes. With the distance formula, this is what we used last year and this is what we're gonna do this year, okay? So we're gonna use the distance formula to find the distance between these two points. When I do this, and it might have been taught differently or you might have a different structure and that's okay. When I do this, I label first what each of my points represent. All right, so I know my X sub one, my Y sub one, my X sub two and my Y sub two. And then I fill it into the, the formula. So the distance is equal to the square root of the quantity X sub two minus X sub one squared plus the quantity Y sub two minus Y sub one squared. And then I go through and I evaluate this. So this is equal to the quantity four squared plus, if I add up, I've got the quantity negative three squared. So the distance is equal to 16 plus nine because negative three times negative three is positive nine. So it's equal to the square root of 25 so the distance is five. This one comes out really nicely. I would not plan on them all coming out nicely, okay? You're going to have some messy numbers. If you have messy numbers, round to the hundredths place. Unless it states otherwise. Okay, so you're gonna round to the nearest hundredth unless it says, hey, round to the tenth. Then you should follow the directions and round to the tenth, okay? So just keep that in the back of your mind. Hundredths unless it says otherwise, right? This is the distance formula. Watch your computation. Watch subtracting a negative. Make sure you set it up correctly, all right? All those pieces and you'll be extremely successful. The other thing we're gonna review is midpoint. And to find the midpoint, you add the coordinates of the endpoints and divide by two. All right, this is on a straight horizontal line. That tends to be a little bit easier. The formula you talked about last year is this one right here. So again, I would pause the video, make sure that you're writing down that formula. Um, the midpoint is the, the x value is the sum of the x values divided by two. The y value is the sum of the y values divided by two. And that gives you your midpoint. I'm gonna walk you through two different types of problems that work with the midpoint. One where we wanna find the midpoint and one where we're given the midpoint. So we're gonna go through two examples of that and then have you work on your practice. So the first one says, find the coordinates of the midpoint. Okay, so it's important that we're reading our directions. So I wanna find the midpoint. What that means is I need to um, label my points. So this is X sub one, Y sub one, X sub two, Y sub two, and I'm gonna fill it in. So into the formula, I'm gonna do eight plus negative 14 divided by two. That's gonna give me the X value and then negative six plus 12 
divided by two and that's gonna give me the y value. Let me make sure we can see. There we go. Um, so eight plus negative 14 is negative six halves, which is negative three. Negative six plus 12 is six divided by two, which is positive three. You write your answers as an ordered pair in parentheses. We're now in eighth grade honors geometry. We should know at this point when you write an ordered pair, put parentheses around your X and your Y. So I'll be looking for this in your homework. Now this next one's worded a little differently. It says, find the coordinates of D if E is the midpoint. So I'm just gonna sketch what this looks like. So negative six, four, that's E, and negative five, negative three, that is F. E is the midpoint. That means D is somewhere up there. So that gives me a visual representation. When I look at the formula, I know that this is X sub one, this is Y sub one. These are the midpoints. So I'm gonna say negative five plus X sub two divided by two is negative six. Because this is the midpoint X value. And then for the Y, I'm gonna say that negative three plus Y sub two divided by two is four. Negative six, four is our endpoint. Negative five, negative three is our first ordered pair, and we want to find the second ordered pair. So over here, we're going to multiply by two. So we have that negative five plus x squared. I'm going to have to write it over here because I'm kind of running out of room. So negative five plus x sub two, I misspoke when I said squared, x plus two equals negative 12. So x sub two is negative seven. And then I'm gonna evaluate this one. So I'm gonna multiply by two, so negative three plus y sub two is eight. So y sub two is 11 because I add three to both sides. So negative seven, 11 is my end point. And that makes sense that this would be over about seven and up about 11. So your practice is gonna be utilizing um, some of this work. If you've got questions on it, let me know, but I think you've got this. We'll be back soon.